Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. And how are you guys doing this morning? This is James Lee from Royal Pirates, currently the substitute DJ while Brian is away. And for those of you guys who had a hard time waking up this morning, did you guys know that there are specific scents that refresh your mind and body? I heard that scents such as cinnamon, lavender, and peppermint can evoke specific moods to help improve your day. So they can help us wake up in the morning and keep us calm during the afternoon and help us relax and unwind in the evening. So I recommend you find some scents that can help you wake up every day. And for the first song, of our Tuesday, we got a love song by Kimberly Locke, I Could. You're tuning in with What's Poppin' with James Lee of Royal Pirates on TBS EFM 101.3 in Seoul and surrounding areas, GFN 98.7 in Gwangju and 93.7 in Yeosu. Now, I've got a couple of things as a reminder. If you're trying to get in contact with us, it's really, really simple. First, if you're on the Twitter sphere, you're on Twitter, our handle is at TBS What's Poppin'. Mention, hashtag, and follow us. Also, you want to give us a shout out, just send us an email at e EFMPoppin at gmail.com if you have any questions or you want to leave any messages. Also, if you're interested in our playlist, come check out our website at tbsefm.soul.kr forward slash EFM forward slash what's poppin. It's time for today's pick. And how is your commute to work today? For any of you guys who drove to your work this morning, did you feel pain or on your neck or back? Because many drivers do not position themselves correctly in their car. This can seriously lack control and comfort while driving. Well, a good driving position can actually help prevent accidents, improve safety, and your driving comfort. So, what exactly is a right or correct driving position? Well, first, you gotta make sure you sit straight and that your buttocks and back are square and completely squeezed into the seat. You gotta squeeze those cheeks, but it can get exhausting, so you gotta watch your pace, I guess. And this helps to avoid back aches, possible back injuries, and maintains your awareness during your long drives. After that, you gotta scoot the seat forward so you can reach and completely depress all the foot pedals without coming away from the seat back. Well, then, you gotta bring the back forward until you're reclined at about a hundred or a hundred ten degree angle and this decreases the pressure on the discs in your lower back well these are some simple tips that are essential for the right position while driving and there are many many more adjustments to make such as the headrest seat belt and mirrors so don't forget about those as well but just get started well speaking of the right position let's listen to all the right moves by one republic that was all the right moves by the Hit Factory. That is One Republic. And there are times when we just can't explain our feelings and emotions, especially when we have to describe our feeling towards a person in a relationship. And it becomes really, really difficult. And it's because there are no reasons for loving someone. It just happens to be the way that is. And you all might be wondering why I'm saying that you might be thinking I'm emotional, but that was actually just an intro to the next song. Jennifer Hudson sings about how she can't express her emotion when, with her song, I Can't Describe the Way I Feel. The song features T.I., and after Jennifer Hudson's track, we got Craig David's All Alone Tonight, Stop, Look, Listen. We are back from listening to Jennifer Hudson's I Can't Describe the Way I Feel. Featuring T.I. and Craig David's All Alone Tonight, Stop, Look, Listen. And when you watch Craig David's music video, you can see that he's he's an attractive guy. He's an attractive dude. So for all of Craig's girl fans, you got to make sure to go check out the music video, all the ladies out there. Speaking of attractive dudes, we're going to be back in our second segment with Chop, Loop, and Reverse It with the infamous, the powerful Joe Park. But before then, we're moving on, we got the Rolling Stones. We're going to listen to some rock with You Can't Always Get What You Want. So let's go listen to the song, and we'll be back with the second half of our show. Welcome back. You're now tuned into TBS EFM 101.3, listening to the second half of What's Poppin'. 
And soon we'll be back with the powerful Joe Park for our second segment, Chop, Loop, and Reverse It, to talk about some of the greatest sampling in music. So stay tuned for that. What's going on, brother? Wow. Hey, th Joe. Thank you for the intro. I'm Joe, Joe Park. Yes. When I said powerful, do you know what I meant by that? I don't know. You just you just gave me, you just you just started off my Tuesday morning. Because, well, the reason I said that is because last time you came in, you told me that you were the name destroyer. That's ah, <laughs> yes. The most powerful. The only. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not the only reason I, I said powerful, because you're a very, you're very powerful, strong guy. Mm. Right? From with your knowledge, you always amaze me with your knowledge. I, I wish I was powerful physically. I need to go work <laughs> out, you know. <laughs> nah, it, it's all good. You, you'll get there. We can do. Yeah. So maybe when Brian gets back, we could do CrossFit together. Oh my yeah. goodness, he's been asking me so many times. Oh really? You know, get in the gym, get in yeah. this. No man, I. You know what? I I met Brian actually a few times, mm. and you could every time he grows. Like his muscle mass just grows yeah, each time I see him. You so, know, if you follow, if you all follow yeah. him on Facebook, you know yeah. he's got his pictures and everything. Yeah, well, I, I've been a fan of him for a while. Well, yeah, definitely. Anyway, let's get what what songs do you have for us today? Uh, the first song I brought in today is a song by Rita Ora, mm -hmm. featuring Tiny Tempa. Okay. The song's called Rest in Peace, R.I.P. Oh, and uh, this song was released in 2012 off her studio album Aura, mm -hmm. and this song was co-written by rapper Drake. Canadian rapper, yeah. yeah, and it was <laughs> produced by the famous production team Stargate. Man, that's pretty big. Yeah, yeah. and uh, this album has other big producers. Like, I mean, for me, it's a big thing because I'm a producer myself. So, mm -hmm. you know, The Dream, mm -hmm. The Runners, Diplo, Stargate, Will I Am. These are these are <clears throat> huge names. These are the yeah. biggest out there. Yeah, you know? you, if you want to be able to work with them, you got to have. You know, a lot of backing financially, or you got to be really big to work with these big producers, yeah. cause and you got to have that <clears throat> that spark, that potential. Mm -hmm. right? uh, there, that's going to be really attractive to those kinds of producers. Yes, yeah. yes. And uh, this album has debuted at number one on the UK albums chart and was eventually certified platinum. Wow. And uh, Rita Ora signed to Rock Nation, which is Jay Z's label, mm -hmm. in 2009, and the label gave her two years to find herself and one year to record her album. What? So it took, yeah, it took her three years to make this album. But two years, she just got two years to find herself. Yeah, the, label, you... the label was like, you know, we want songs that are you, you know, like there's something unique about you. Find something that has to do with you and only you, not, nothing generic. How do yeah. you articulate that in the contract? Like, two years, just be you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to find who you are. You don't know who you are yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, I wish that in Korea I could get a contract like that <laughs> someday because I'm learning about myself as I go yeah, along. Yeah, but then what if you don't find yourself in two years? Man, then, what happens? Then you just got to record what you know. from. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, so Aura is her surname, mm -hmm. but also means time in her country, Kosovo. Mm -hmm. Kosovo, I think. Kosovo. Yeah, in Albanian language. Uh -huh. okay. And this album has sold over 300,000 copies so far. And she has released only one album so far, which took three years and did very, very well. And uh, yeah, this, um, this album was released in 2012, mm -hmm. like I said before. And she's also acted in various movies as well, oh. like Fifty Shades of Grey, oh. Fast and Furious 6. Whoa! Yeah, <laughs> getting a little excited here, and has also made appearances in the X Factor and The Voice UK. Whoa! So she's like the full package. She's an actress. She's a singer. She knows who she is because she had two years to find herself. Yeah, man, I want to. I want to meet Rita. Yeah, uh, Rita, if you're listening, <laughs> you're amazing. <laughs> yeah, and uh, within a short period of time, she has won and has been nominated for numerous awards. Mm. And this is a little, you know, side gossip. New, well, actually, it's real news. She's dated the infamous, oh, romantic, yes, romantic, yes, yes, yes infamous, yes, yes, infamous. Yes. You said Calvin Harris. Wow. In the past, but they split up this past year in June. Wow. So good news for fans <laughs> of, of Rita or and Calvin Harris. Calvin Harris. Yeah. Calvin Harris. Calvin Harris. They're apparently they were single. I don't know if they still are. 
but they were <laughs> single at that time. Yeah, and so yeah, n- now they now they split up and mm-hmm. yeah. So this track isn't an original track though; it was sampled. And okay. So let's take a listen to the sample real awesome. quick. Let's go. Yeah, that was that was really cool. I've never heard that before. But it's got kind of like a, a religious like. Yeah, it gets you like maybe, pumped up, you know. Maybe she she found herself in her time, the two years that she took <laughs> in religion or something, and she turned it into this crazy drop. Mm. You know, I like the drop too. Yeah, back in 2012, that's when like you know dubstep was really big and yeah. everyone was mixing it up and stuff. So yeah, that's already two years ago, almost three years ago. Yeah. Wow. Anyway, it's, it's, it's getting there. But uh, yeah, this sample is by an artist's name. Let me get the name straight. Please forgive me. Mm-hmm. Nika. Okay. And the song's called Heartbeat. <laughs> that was it? That was Nika? Yeah, Nika. Was- hey, it's, it's even harder. That's two <laughs> ends, people. I was, expecting, ends. I was expecting like a <gasps> medulla oblongata. <laughs> well, <laughs> it very- well it, it's coming up. Just, just okay. hold on. It's coming alrighty, up. Alrighty. And um, this song's called Heartbeat. Mm-hmm. And this is, also, this is a chase and status uh, guitar mix mm-hmm. and this song was released in 2008 off the album No Longer at Ease mm-hmm. and the album peaked at number 31 in Germany so she's a German artist okay and here's the full name Nika Lucia Egbuna okay, that was pretty good <laughs> yeah, I think yeah is. is a German Nigerian hip hop soul singer and she writes in both Igbo which is like the Nigerian language mm-hmm. and English oh. and since 2003, Nika has been closely working with hip-hop producer DJ Farhat, I believe, and she gained public attention in 2004, opening for Sean Paul at Hamburg. Sean Paul? Yes, yeah, Sean wow. Paul. It's been a minute since he's come out with <laughs> anything <laughs> big. <laughs> yes, it's been just, a just while, like that. man. Make it sound like <laughs> Indian, <laughs> man. Sean Paul. <laughs> He's gonna um, take offense to that. I'm, I'm terrible. No, 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 no. I'm terrible with accents. Just so you know, I um, listened to Brian a few times. He's so good. Yes, I like his Lil Wayne. Yes, <laughs> yeah. He'll go on for like a good ten minutes with the same accent. But okay, let's get back to it. Uh, well, let's get back to it. <laughs> yes. Um, and she debuted in 2005 with her debut EP, The Uncomfortable Truth, mm-hmm. and she's performed uh, as a supporting act and opening act for many artists uh, like Gnarls, Barkley, Lenny Kravitz, wow. Nas, Damon Marley, and many more. So she definitely has this unique edge to her where, you know, a lot of big artists want her to open up. Yeah. You know, and, and that's you, a place you want to be in your career. You know, yeah, definitely. Because when you're, when you're a huge artist like that, when you're opening up your show, you want the, the crowd to be ready to go. Mm. You know, you don't want them to be like, oh, what that artist was like lame or that yeah, was, yeah, yeah. the the punigi, the atmosphere is too it's all calm now you yeah. want to be ready you want to be pumped so apparently she's got that energy and you can definitely feel that yeah without. and and she yeah. also um she sings a little more than she raps mm-hmm. no, no actually i think she raps more than she sings okay. because she says hip-hop is her primary uh, primary musical root oh, okay. and most important source of inspiration and mm-hmm. uh she's released four albums so far in her career okay and a lot of her songs and lyrics reflect much of her history and life in nigeria you know which hip-hop is all about you know about the struggle back in the day and you know it's not all about money and all clubbing and all that kind of stuff but mm-hmm. you know real hip-hop Roots, um, issues, capitalism, or you know, stuff so she's like that, got so. a lot to say. Yeah, she, that's good. That's so she has a uh, city. Yeah, uh, listen to this, Rita or Tiny Tempas RIP. Man, that was awesome. Yes, it's like being reborn again. It pumps you up. Yeah, I'm ready to work out. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's oh. go. Okay, well, uh, uh, before we go. We gotta, we gotta hear some more music, though. Yes, yes, yes. So, what are some more songs? Did you bring anything else for us? Yes, okay. I brought one more in here. Okay. Um, next song I brought in is by Latoya Luckett, hmm. and the song is called "She Don't." She and don't what? You, I, I don't what know. Don't what it's, it's called "She Don't." That makes you want to listen to the rest of the. <laughs> yes. You don't know what she's talking about. She don't. Yes. She she don't. It's she probably, do not. you know it's back R and B is probably like she don't do it like me. <laughs> you know she don't got what I got. You know she don't. 
you know that kind of stuff. You know, she's probably like, "Are you happy?" You know, she don't she don't do it like me. I don't know if she you guys. Cook I like wish me. I wish you guys could see the hand gestures that are happening in the studio right <laughs> what? now. He's pointing into the sky and waving it like what? with it's it's amazing. Rumors, rumors. The powerful Joe Park. Okay, well <laughs> she don't. All right, let's hear it. Uh, yeah, and okay. uh, this song was released in 2006 <laughs> off her debut album, Latoya. And the album spawned three singles, and they are Torn, She Don't, and Obvious. And Latoya co-wrote 10 out of the 14 tracks on the album. Oh, that's a, hefty, yes. that's a lot. That's and a hefty And this amount. album debuted at number one on the U.S. Billboard 200 and is certified platinum. Wow. And Latoya was one of the original members of R&B group Destiny's Child. Wow. And she won two Grammy Awards and sold over 25 million records with Destiny's Child. So she's got experience on that chart. Yeah, but sadly, you know, she ain't no Destiny's Child anymore. <laughs> you know, I mean, but but she, she she had a good she had a good run. She had a good run, so she made a big name for herself, and mm -hmm. that's why I think right after she left the group, she went solo. So you know, they were still pretty hot back in the day, mm -hmm. and uh, she began her solo career after signing a record deal with Capitol Records. Mm -hmm. And Latoya also made a name for herself as an actress. Nice. And she's acted in films like Preacher's Kid, Killers, From the Rough. I haven't really seen many of these movies. Yeah, I've never, <laughs> I've never heard of these movies, but I'm gonna go check it out to see Latoya. Light. Yeah, yeah. And uh, she has appeared on the VH1 TV series Single Ladies, and she has released three albums so far. Okay. Yes. And so this track is not an original track. Well, there's some sampled parts. And so we'll take a listen real quick right now. All right. That's got an epic feel to it. It's got more, yeah, like a, like a chill. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah. It's got a mythical, legendary, you know, of the of the ages, a classic. Yes, see, it's I got see. a very chill vibe, and yeah, the, the sample was by the Spinners, mm -hmm. and the song's called "We Belong Together." She don't. We belong together. Yeah. Okay. And uh, this song was released in 1973 off the third studio album, Spinners. Mm -hmm. And the album was the first album after they left Motown. So they're originally one of the Motown artists, and then oh they geez. left. Oh, original Motown. Mm-hmm. And the Spinners are an American soul music vocal group, and they debuted back in 1964 at the Apollo Theater. And they have been active for over 50 years. Are you ready to be active for 50 years? I've been alive for 26, <laughs> so 24 more. Let's bring it on. Well, actually, I, I, I debuted... A year ago, yeah. So I guess so you got, I've got forty nine years. Yeah, you, go. you got, got forty nine <laughs> years ago. Yeah, you're gonna be playing the bass, and by then they'll be, they'll have been active for ninety nine years. <laughs> At that time. Yeah, and there's only one member that's still like an original member from the group, and everyone else has been new members, but uh, the name still lives on, like the Spinners. You know. Ah, I see. I see. Yeah, it's kind of like World Pirates, and then you you kind of get old. You know, some people, you know, maybe like they go their own way or mm -hmm. something, but then you they know, bring you, in new people to keep the group alive. Yeah, to keep the that's group alive, and you keep you keep the name Royal Pirates alive. You know, that's kind of nice. Yeah, that's kind of you know. nice. You keep the the original who you used to be mm. keeps on going. Yes, oh, the, okay. the, the legacy lives on. So I guess it is possible that they go to ninety nine years of activity. <laughs> yeah, mm. and they're still active till this day. Mm. And uh, so yeah, so they've been ap active for over 50 years with a long run of hits, especially during the 70s. Mm. And the group originated from Detroit and still do tours um, today. And the group has been listed as um, as Detroit Spinners or the Motown Spinners because... In the '60s, there was a British folk group also called the Spinners. Ah. So you know, sometimes that happens. Like if if you release as like say Royal Pirates, but then you find out that there's Royal Pirates in the UK or or in yeah. India somewhere. You know, you kind of change it a little bit. Yeah, you so have to be kind of careful because if you guys get real good, mm -hmm. they may be like, tick, 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 tick. Yeah. hey, you guys took our name. Yeah, they're gonna say like they're the Royal Pirates, so we're gonna change it to the Royal Pilates or the Loyal Pilots. Yeah, yeah, you know, like yeah. they'll they'll probably want name change or they'll <laughs> probably fight you guys like we got this name first. And there have been cases like that even uh, in the in the states. And I think it happened with like Wanted or 
Oh, really? Uh, the Wanted? Yeah, I think The Wanted or something like that. There, oh. there was, you know, the big group, Wanted, I, but then there was like an indie group or some other band that was like, hey, we had this name first. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Well, I can see how you can get territorial and possessive of that, but over time, I wonder, can there be any new names? Are there gonna be any new names? You're gonna run out eventually. You know? Yeah, you gotta be. Or you just gotta add words. It's like it can't be the Royal Pirates. It's gonna be the story of the Royal Pirates. Or yeah, I back mean, in the day when I was a Royal Pirate, that'll be the band name. Yeah, be like that. That's ridiculous. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I don't know how they come up these names too. Even. Alrighty, but um, <laughs> yeah, there have been many line change-ups within this group due to people passing away or leaving no. from the group because it gets ah. gets old, you know. Ah, I see. Fifty years. That's, that's a, a long, long time. yeah. That's a long time. And yeah, many. Many me- of the members have died from illness, and there's only one original member. And they've released 18 studio albums, three live albums, 13 compilation albums, and 58 singles, and have many hits that hit number one on the charts. So that's what you get for being active for 50 years. According to my calculations, they have about a bajillion more <laughs> albums than my band so far. So that's. It- it's a, amazing. It, it's a lot of work. Like, think about how many hours you have to be in the studio, how many hours you're out there performing. But what's awesome is with all that experience, you know that the product is going to be it's going to be refined. Yes. All right. Think well, what doing. Let's up next. Let's listen to Latoya Luckett with "She Don't." All right, that was Latoya Luckett's "She Don't," and thank you, Joe. Thank you for being with us today. So it's always my pleasure. Man, you always bring great songs. Yeah, I try hard, you know, looking up for these songs. So. But this is my last Monday with you. No, yeah, I don't. I gotta wa- break my heart like that. I don't want to go, but no. I'm gonna miss you, man. Well, it's already time to wrap things up for today, too. So, oh, I broke my heart twice. Yeah, we're gonna see you next. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but tomorrow we've got groovy grooves waiting for us, and I'll be back with some groovy songs help start off the day so i hope everyone enjoys their day um we're going to close this section with ruben stuttered i'm not happy this is james lee of royal pirates and we'll see you next time peace person